Hi, this is Fred, FR5ED, the five is silent. We're here to do an IPA review today, and today we are going to taste Smutty Nose IPA. This is also known as Finest Kind Smutty Nose IPA. This is 6.9% ABV. It's 65 IBUs, International Bittering Units. Um, and it has some good reviews on Beer Advocate after... Um, 1,476 reviews, it's an A minus. And on rate beer, it's a, it's a 97%, or I'm sorry, 97 overall. I'm not sure what their score numbers mean, but uh, I believe that uh, 97 is pretty good. And that's after 1,190 reviews. So anyway, let's uh, try to keep this quicker than, than I usually end up being. Well, it may not be if I can't get the cap off. Okay. Not using the most efficient bottle opener. Let's see how this pours. It's a, uh, I know it's going to be a little hazy at least because it's uh, not filtered. Very light. Now it's a very, very, very light amber, almost golden color. Um, and yep. It may clear up a little bit, but it's fairly hazy. That's good. That's good. Let's give it a smell. Oh, very citrusy. It's uh, using Simcoe and Sun. Let's see if I can read this. Sant Santiams, S A N T I A M S. Santiams, hops. I recognize a Simcoe. Very nice and fruity, pineapple y. Citrusy. Yeah, so let's give it a taste. Very good. Very good. It's very, very um, pleasant. It's not ultra bitter. I just tasted a new IPA from uh, uh, from Orlando Brewing yesterday. They just introduced it this past Saturday. It's called I Four, and uh, not don't I don't have any here. It's only on tap there, and I didn't do a review while I was there. Um, but uh, just again didn't live up to my expectations for an IPA. It's quite quite bitter. In fact, when I left there, the bitterness just hung in there for quite a while. The bitterness in this is, to me, a little more balanced. Um, it's 65 IBUs, which is not a not a weakling. Um, but it just seems more balanced with a little bit of sweetness that's in here. You can taste more of the citrusy flavor. Um, and it, 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 that the sweetness and the maltiness kind of balances out the uh, bitterness. It's just, it's a very balanced taste, in other words. Mm. Mouthfeel is medium. Um, just a very pleasant, drinkable IPA. Uh, on a five-star system, I'd probably rate this, you know, three and a quarter, three and a half. You know, at least three and a half, I'd say. It's, uh, it's one that, you know, if you, you sit and sip this one and you open up another one. Uh, so I would buy that again. Um, you know, it's maybe not quite up there with the High Lie from uh, Cigar City uh, or a couple of the other favorites, but it's definitely good. So I recommend you try it. Definitely going to have some, some people liking it out there. <laughs> An A- after 1,400 and a 97 after 1,100 reviews. It, it's, it's a very well-accepted one out there, and it goes on my list of do again. So have a great day. This is Fred, FR5EDD, over and out.